so I'm trying to fix the furnace. It's really loud. Um, not loud as in a loud fan, but like screeching. Like a cat is dying in there. Yeah, and it's it's not it's not super loud inside, but outside it it it's like deafening. Um, it would definitely keep the entire campground awake. So we can't use it. Yeah, I mean it's functional. If it was life and death, we could use it. But considering we are heading back to our hometown in Indiana. Um, this next weekend where it's supposed to be like negative 17 degrees. Um, we think maybe we should try and fix it. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so my suspicion was that there was something stuck inside the fan causing it to screech like maybe a loose um, screw or something. And it sounds like that's right because if I, if I move the fan You can hear something scratching in there. So now I have it out of the housing. Um, now I just need to figure out how to get access to the fan. And we had to disconnect the propane, so no one's taking a hot shower until no. it's back together. So we'll see. Maybe we can fix it, maybe we cannot. We've also had some issues with uh, our water lines freezing because it got cold a couple nights here in this last week. And when I was investigating that, I did find out that the furnace does have a vent that goes into uh, the compartment that has all of our water pump and our water lines and our fresh water tank. So now the motivation to get this working is even greater. So I was able to remove the uh, fan housing. It's this little plastic case that goes over the fan. Um, there's actually a large fan in here, and then there's the motor, and then a smaller exhaust fan on this side. And I was able to take this plastic cover off of the um, off of the exhaust fan just enough where um, I could open up and see inside and I found this which I'm assuming is um, from some mud daubers which are I think like these wasp like uh, bugs that create these like mud nests. Um, I mean, it's really hard. It's not like something you'd expect a wasp to make. It's really hard, like almost like stone. And after removing that, when I uh, kind of hold the fan back there and spin it with my fingers, it doesn't make any sound like I did before. Before uh, it was making a scratching sound when I did this. So I think that may have been it. Maybe. We'll find out. We'll test it tomorrow. It's too late now, just in case it is too loud. We'll probably get kicked out of the campground, so we'll try it tomorrow. The fan works. It is not broken anymore, and it's not super loud, so this is awesome. Yeah, we just turned the fan on. Uh, since fixing it last night, we didn't want to turn it on last night in case it was still loud. It would have waken up the whole campground. But now that it's morning, we uh, flipped it on and it's working and it's not loud. So it's really exciting. It's just a normal fan loud now, which is so cool. It's like we have a new RV. All right, so we had seen and read online about other full-time RVers that had had issues with mud daubers and bats and other things getting in their uh, furnace through these vents. And so one of the first things we did when we purchased the RV was order these vents and install them like within the first week. So those mud daubers that made a nest in our furnace must have happened with the previous owners of the RV. We would highly recommend these vents. They're really easy to install. It takes just a minute and they're pretty inexpensive. I'll put a link in the description below for these on Amazon. And if you use that link to purchase them, we'll get a little bit of a kickback and we'd really appreciate it.